What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? I'm gonna make a quick video and I'm gonna talk about my putter and I'm gonna try to refinish it, kind of do it yourself at home style. Like I only have, I have 800 grit, which is my strongest, which should take me a little elbow grease, but I don't have to worry about messing anything up. I would rather go the lightest, the less abrasive because I don't feel like screwing anything up. And uh, my next two grits are way up there. I've got a 1200 grit and a 2000 grit. So those things um, can put a real shine on it. But what I hope to do is just get it real smooth, real polished. And then I'm going to end up with the nickel finish on it. All right, so I taped this thing up. Didn't really spend too much time on it. But I basically have the spots where I want to kind of scrape. And basically, yeah, like, you basically do this. I'm gonna put a little in some water, do a little wet sand here. And basically, I'm just gonna start literally doing this. And already, you'll be able to see across the top, you see that right there? How the imperfections are gonna show up big time. So it's gonna take a little work. I'm going to try tomorrow. I'm going to call a bunch of auto shops and um, somebody's bound to have a bead blaster somewhere around here. And at that point, then I can get all my putters looking a factory finish as if showroom floor. And uh, like I say, this is metal depending on what this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is stainless. And... Um, but anyway, so I'm really, I can't record all this, but. If I could actually get in front of the camera here. As long as that grit is strong enough in this 800, I'll be able to use the final two grits and smooth it out. Hopefully get rid of all the scratches. And if you want to polish one, that's great, but. That nickel finish is what I'm hoping is going to look all right. So anyway, I'll be back. It's funny in some ways because, like, you know, you have a toolbox and you use your wrench or whatever, and when you're done with it, you just throw it in the toolbox. You don't care if it has a, a ding or a scratch, but for some reason with golf clubs, at least with me, I really like the top line to be clean, and uh, I really don't – I like it to look – nice I don't know for some reason I guess I'm OCD with it um, I went and got a few of my putters adjusted and I was at the Edwin Watts and right away when the guy took my putters he kind of clunked them down I had head covers but he was taking the head covers off and like kind of tossing the putters back onto the uh, table there and I was thinking okay shit man I don't really want my putters getting all dinged up and banged into each other so I was like, hey man, uh, I'm pretty particular about the condition and scrapes and everything. He says, oh cool, no problem, you know. And uh, But then he put one putter into the loft lie machine and like right on the top line, sure enough, man, he put a big ass scratch ding on it. And uh, at that point, I was like, hey man, can I, uh, it's like, can we tape up that top line a little bit? I was like, I just don't want to have any scratches because now all I see is that scratch, so. But if you have the ability to finish them, man, if you had a bead blasting machine at home, you could pretty much, you could buy putters, refinish them. It'd probably pay for itself if you had the time. Start to get the right tools. But I'm the type of guy to sit around and do it for as cheap as I can and hopefully get it to look good. But um, I'm going to have to cut, I'll check back in. Um... I'll check back in. What's up, you guys? I'm going to just give a little update. I've been going nonstop now for a good little bit. 25 minutes straight. And believe it or not, I can tell a difference. Like, it's already cleaning up that top line. So... I'm going to keep going to it. I think it's going to look good. All right, already Bach. What's up, you guys? All right, I've been scrubbing on this thing for about an hour now. 
and I've got most of those dings out of that top line um, it's still super shiny um, I may call around tomorrow and see if there if I could find a bead blast place and that will be better than nickel finishing it so I may leave it as is but I got a few more things to clean up on it and then alright guys I'm actually done um, if you can see here that top line now is clean as a whistle I used the 600 grit on the entire thing and at the end it really wasn't that shiny so you probably if you want to have a little bit of a duller finish use the 600 grit but I wanted to see what the 2000 grit would do and it put pretty much you could almost see my mirror image there um, it put a real nice mirror shine on it so anyway, man, if anybody is curious about getting the top line cleaned up on their putter, it just takes a little elbow grease. And um, like I say, I can nickel finish this. I think I'm going to leave it as it is. I didn't, right here you'll see I left those, I didn't feel like messing with those. Uh, all this putter's milled in through here with mill marks. So I just wanted to mess with the front. But there's no, it's there's no scratching or anything. It's an absolute smooth, smooth top with no signs of scratching or anything. So you can refinish your whole putter this way. If you have a carbon putter, you can oil can it. Uh, stainless steel. This is about the best you can do. If you have a bead blast machine, you can go and give it a nickel finish. Like it'll look just like a uh, Scotty Cameron um, Studio Stainless. But anyway. Uh, all those dents and stuff are out of there. Alright, peace.